spring features or spring featured modules so basically it's a collection of modules form a spring framework so there we have different modules we will talk about more when we talk about spring architecture and here is a brief introduction of those inversion of control done through dependency injection okay what is loose coupling what is inversion of control so inversion of loose coupling we have already seen with user and car example and inversion of control we will be seeing with the, we will be configuring beans in xml file and we can get a bean from that xml file which will be injected with all its dependencies okay that we will see aspect oriented programming which enables implementing cross cutting concerns the example that we covered just now and the data access which works with jdbc and hibernate we have spring dao and we have spring batch and we have a jdbc template there are so many other stuff which uh, which offers data access model view controller this is very important MVC framework which provides MVC support through servlets and struts. This is web framework. Remote access framework which supports remote access through RMI, a web service through SOAP and REST. So here what is RMI? Remote method invocation. What does it mean? Assume there are two I am putting it in very simple terms. I am not going into uh, deeper, uh, deeper what we call levels. In I don't want to confuse you. In very simple terms, we can think of RMI as, for example, I have a method which is in J, uh, JVM, uh, JRE, what we call in one JVM, and I have another method in JVM two. If the method which is in JVM2, if it want to call or invoke method which is available in JVM1, that can be possible using RMI. That can be possible using RMI. So that is what RMI and we have a module with respect to RMI. That is remote access framework and Spring has inbuilt support of web services also as you know next soap stands for simple uh, object access protocol and the rest stands for a uh, better moment okay rest stands for representational state protocol next Uh, yeah. Then we have a remote management module. JMX is the technology that is used to manage the system objects and devices like printers. JMX stands for Java Management Extensions. Usually you can treat your network printer as an object, as a Java object and you can monitor your printer through Java using JMX and that is an example there are so many other things that can be achieved using JMX for example if you want to have a control on your JVM that you can use uh, that can that you can have by JMX enforced on your JVM you can monitor your JVM how it exactly working messaging uses JMS to communicate through message queues. JMS stands for Java Messaging Service. So here uh, the messaging could be synchronous and asynchronous. Testing. Uh, supports classes for writing unit test cases and integration test cases. So we have Spring unit testing module also so which offers different classes and interfaces which 
uh, what we call which gives better unit testing and integration testing capabilities. Then we have Spring Roo, which offers convention over configuration. It is like a framework which eases the development effort. This is rapid application development tool. So for example, if you want to create a Spring project, so if you have this kind of IDE, it is a matter of selecting File New Spring Project. So it eases the development effort. That is what uh, we can achieve using Spring Roo. Authentication and authorization. So this is uh, covered as part of your Spring Security module. Okay, next. Uh, guys, what is the difference between authentication and authorization? So authentication talks about validating a user and authorization talks about what user is accessible to. There, there would be hundreds of features but is the logged in user is authorized to all of them or some of them. And we got replaced from others also. Unit says authentication means uh, you are an authorized user and authorization means you have right to perform some action. Yes. Uh, see who says authentication uh, is if the user can log into system that is true and authorization means the permission to this system for a user if the user is read only or read write yeah it's more or less whether the logged in user is accessible to this feature or this module or not it is something like that and the Srujana says authentication is who you are and authorization is what you are allowed to do. <laughs> very nice. So in very simple terms, Sruj uh, as Srujana said, authentication is who you are and authorization is what you are allowed to 